Mitochondria run your cells. So you can think of them as like little sailors on a ship. They're going up up the rigging, they're pulling the mast, they're doing all these sorts of things. They're actually making the cell work. Yeah. So they're not just sitting there, just pump. They're not just generators sitting there. They actually go to this organelle, pump out a bunch of ATP so that this can turn on and do something. They go to this little receptor on the cell membrane and pump out some ATP so you can do this. And they go over here and shoot out neurotransmitters and things like that. So then mm. mitochondria run the cell. They've got IDH day in the cell. That's it. <laughs> that is, I'm going to be yeah, I'm gonna go there. Or, or you have ADHD if you don't have them working right. Because yeah. that's actually what they've showed. There's sort of dysfunction of the mitochondria can actually precipitate ADHD. Oh, fuck, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is that yeah. something that we could help like, Delby then, like with ADHD, oh, adding yeah. creatine to his diet? Mm. Well, in, in general, just helping the, the mitochondria. So mm. it, creatine can help that too. But um, you also want to go through uh, autophagy. You want to make sure that your your mitochondria, they, you know, things that slow down, they get broken down, they sort of wear out over time. Just like, you know, different parts in your car, like you know, your fan belt might start, mm. to, start to wear out. You don't replace the whole car, you just replace the fan belt. Uh, but if you don't, you can have other problems and other problems start building out. So it's the same with your mitochondria and your other organelles. So this is the the, uh, the principle of autophagy. Yeah. Mm. So autophagy, self-eating. So you recycle, your your cell eats up some of these organelles like the mitochondria. If they're sort of getting damaged and slowing down, they're not working really well. And they recycle their, their nutrients and they make new mitochondria or new organelles of other, other descriptions. And so... It's uh, people think that you have to fast to do this. So you have to fast for 72 hours plus yeah. or something like that. Yeah. You know, Dr. Uh, David Sinclair from Harvard and Peter Atia, they say, oh, you have to fast for like five days every three months. It's really important. Yeah, that's to get what that I autophagy. heard that the fasting over that certain time period, the body goes, oh, well, I'm going to eat my own cells instead. You know, it, it explains the observed phenomena, but it's completely wrong. Right. right. So it's not that your body's looking scavenging for energy. You have mm. plenty of energy. You know, if that were the case, you'd have to run out of fat before your body started scavenging, before you even started digging into your own muscles. Mm. What it is, is a normal process. It's a normal process of housekeeping. And just like you, you tune up your car every year, you mm. replace the fan belt and things like that. It's just, it's just normal maintenance. So your body has to do that. Your body is designed to do that. And yeah, like if my mitochondria is failing, mm -hmm. it's not going to wait for my body to go into a fast to go yeah. and replace it. That's it. Yeah. Right? It's just yeah. like, oh, now I need energy. Oh, I'll get this thing. No, yeah. it's, it's like, that's not working right. Let's replace it. Mm. And so that's, um, that's, what, that's what's happening uh, is your body's just trying to, to sub these things out. So the thing is, is that they say that you have to do this by fasting. Mm. And fasting does this and you have to go over 72 hours to get you know, proper autophagy. But that's actually not the case. It's really just high insulin levels suppress autophagy. Mm-hmm. And so that's the thing. It's just, it's not fasting. It's not the, it's not not eating. It's not eating carbohydrates and having low insulin. So right. if you just don't eat carbohydrates, yeah, then you're going to be going through autophagy all the time. Your body's constantly going to be recycling out these organelles and these mitochondria. And that's what they've shown in, in studies with ketogenic diets, like a carnivore diet, that after three, four months, you have four times the number of mitochondria and wow. they're four times as effective. And so now there's two... Uh, professors of psychiatry from Harvard who've independently come to the conclusion that ketogenic carnivore diets are the best medical treatment for mental health issues such as major depression, anxiety, dep and, uh, OCD, bipolar, ADHD, schizophrenia, and even autism. And they've both written books independently. One's Professor Chris Palmer, who wrote a book called Brain Energy. And he goes all into the mitochondria and how important they yeah. are for, for brain health and mental health. And then the other is Dr. Georgia Ede.